Hey guys, my name is Divya. I am a doctor, but I've held a management role with a healthcare company for a while. I've been doing a series of videos on my channel to help everybody out in the community get PMP certified. I am PGMP certified from the Project Management Institute and have been wanting to share tips and tricks that I've used while studying. So let's get started. What should you be doing on the day of the exam? So let's say you've signed up for the exam, you've studied all the way, you've done whatever you could, now the D-Day has arrived. What should you be doing? What you shouldn't be doing? So let's go ahead and discuss this in this video. I have 10 tips and a bonus tip for all of you out there who are planning to take the PMP soon. Tip number one, get a good night's sleep. It's age-old advice and it always works, guys. We all know it. This is not an easy exam. It's like a marathon. It has tons of ups and downs, many, many meandering questions, many, many tricky questions. So let's just get a good night's rest so that we are fresh to answer all these questions and hurdles thrown our way. Believe me, you can do it. And this advice is something that is dear to my heart and I've always followed it. Uh, before a big exam day. Tip number two, know as much as you can about the exam and keep telling yourself that it's doable. So the PMP exam is four hours long and it has 200 questions on it. 175 questions are scored and the rest are just test questions that PMI is testing whether they're worth putting on the actual exams later on. You will not know the difference between real questions and test questions, so don't bother figuring it out. There's no time. So as I said, 200 questions, four hours, you have a minute and 20 seconds per question. It's doable, guys. Believe me, plenty of people have done it and you can do it too. Don't get bogged down by the fact that it's only a minute and 20. Don't keep thinking about the timer. Focus on the exam, the questions, pick the best answer, move on. As I said, it's totally doable. Tip number three, eat a heavy breakfast and carry a heavy lunch and snack. So in the part of the world where I live, we have something called paratas. They are whole wheat bread with stuffed vegetables or meat, depending on where you're from. Um, and it totally works. It's a heavy breakfast, which you need. Uh, and I also recommend a heavy snack during the day. So what that means is that you're going to either carry a sandwich loaded with whole wheat butter and vegetables and meat, or you're just going to carry something that I don't know of, which is heavy enough. And believe me, all the fat with butter, clarified butter and cream is going to help you. The fat is going to hit your brain cells, make you work better. So have a heavy breakfast and a somewhat heavy lunch. And the lunch is, um, should be midway between the exam. More on that in the tips to come, but keep watching and definitely have the heavy breakfast and lunch with you. Tip number four, carry a jacket to the testing center. So if you're testing at the testing center, like I did for the PGMP, it gets really cold, guys. If you're like me and you're a warm-legged animal, you are going to make use of that jacket. So I think that you know a warmer, more comfortable person can think better and think quickly. And I definitely made use of it. So I recommend that everybody carries it. Tip number five. If you're testing at the testing center, then please ensure you have your two IDs, two unexpired IDs that the testing center will look at uh, and that they are valid IDs that PMI and the testing center would accept. They will give you a locker to place your things. So, you know, a handbag, a wallet, whatever you brought with you, yes, you can put it in the locker, but please ensure that your water bottle and snack do not go inside the locker. I made the silly mistake of keeping my snack inside the locker and now that was not accessible when I took a break. So just to give you the heads up on that, don't make the mistake I made, keep it outside in an accessible location. I seriously doubt someone's gonna see it steal your sandwich or your water bottle. Tip number six, one of the important tips I would say, not the most important, but one of the more important ones, take a break. I know that the PMP exam does not have a scheduled break. It's a four hour exam where the timer keeps running no matter what you do. But I still recommend that after two hours, regardless of the number of questions you've attempted, 
make sure you take a five minute break. This is the time to go to the restroom, then come out, eat that heavy snack or lunch that I was talking about, and then go back. In these five minutes, you can quickly review where you are. Maybe you're halfway or more through the exam. So you've answered more than half the questions or at least half the questions, which means you're in great control and just pace yourself just like the first session and keep going. If you're less than half the questions done, don't panic. This is the time to regain your energy, eat that snack, go back, pace yourself. Believe me, you can do it like everybody else has. A lot of people, when they come out after their two hours and want to take a break, they are a bit bogged down because they're not halfway through, but that's totally understandable because this is one of those exams where you don't know whether the tougher, lengthier questions came first or not. So that's totally okay. Pace yourself for the next two hours and you'll be just fine. Believe me. Tip number seven. So the exam has an exam tutorial right at the beginning. Please make sure you make good use of it. It tells you all the functions on the computer-based system and it's totally worth it. I highly, highly recommend the highlight option, the strikeout option, and the flagging the question option. So these are things that make you use the exam time really, really well. A strikeout just means that you're striking out one of the options on the answers and you never want to look at it again. It's really helpful to save time. The highlighting just makes you highlight parts of the question so you can read it faster if you ever come back to it or even the first time. And then the flagging option is really nice because you can flag something and come right back to it very, very easily. So use all these functions and ensure that you pay attention during the exam tutorial. It's really worth it. Tip number eight, make sure that you answer a question and then flag it. It's very easy to think that, hey, I'm going to flag this question and not answer it right now because I'm not sure of the answer and then I'll revisit it later. The reality is that a lot of people run out of time and there is no point in leaving a question unanswered. So make sure that you answer to the best of your abilities and even if you're not sure, you flag it and you revisit it if you have time. Tip number nine and my most important tip, the most important tip for this video, you need a day and a half to two days off right before the exam. So guys, this exam, the PMP exam, or most of the exams by the Project Management Institute are like marathons. So what marathon runners do is they run, 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 run while they're preparing, but they always take the last day, at least the last day off. That's the day that you do not run. So that's the day that you do not study. Back in the day, I told everybody take a day off, but really I'm telling you take a day and a half off. This is an exam. This study material is going to rack your brains. It's going to pain your brains. It's going to give you headaches and make it spin. So I really think a day and a half is really, really important. Take that time off and do something you love. So I absolutely love spending time with my four year old, baking cakes, playing silly games, and that keeps me occupied and takes my, my mind off all this stuff and it makes me work wonders. Whatever your distraction is, you wanna watch a movie, you wanna go out to, for dinner, you wanna play something with your friends, guys, just go for it. A day and a half is what you really need before this exam to calm your nerves down so that your muscles are relaxed and that they will really, really work on the D-Day, on the exam day. My tip number 10, if you're testing from home, Please ensure that you have a good internet connection, that nobody is going to come into the room while you're testing, and please ensure that you log in early for all the security checks. It really, really helps because they make you do a lot of things during security checks, empty your pockets, show me your desk, show me under your chair. There are a whole bunch of things and it takes a while. So just ensure that you log in early and that you go through the entire system of checks um, and that would really help. Tip number 11 and my bonus tip watch videos read articles you can do these things before the exam just don't do it on the day of the exam but i think it will help your nerves calm down on the day of the exam 
So here it was guys, my 10 tips plus one, my bonus tip for the day of the exam. I know PMP is a hard exam, but believe me, you can do it. Once again, I really, really hope that your, these videos are helping you. If they are, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. It will help me be motivated and make more videos. Thank you so much for watching.